Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to do a really pretty um, deck. Uh, this is a walkthrough I'm going to do for you guys. Um, this deck uh, was published in uh, 2020. Um, there was a thousand decks uh, printed. Um, this is the first edition deck that I have. And this is called uh, Botanica Occulta Tarot. And it was printed by Dark Cinevere, I believe. S-Y-N-E-V-Y-R. And here is the box that came with this deck. These images um, on here are gorgeous. It is a flower deck. It's beautiful. On the back, it says, the life force flowing in grasses and trees is an important part of nature. This force joins with the life force of a person, and if they control it with their will, they are capable of transforming the explicit world. The hidden power of plants, their symbolism and properties help to realize the past, present, and the future. Each card is its own unique world, full of secrets and magic. This deck is kind of plant reference book. Like real drawn images and shortly described legends, give the opportunity to learn more about yourself and the world around you. Dive into the world of flowers with Botanica Occulta. So this is beautiful. Um... I absolutely love this deck. And it comes in a tuck box. And I do not like tuck boxes. Um, I, I always rip the tops of them and then it makes me very angry. So that's why I took the cards out before I did this. And it comes with a chunky little book. So here is the guidebook that comes with it. And... The artwork and everything um, of this deck is by Larissa Kramer. And basically, it just goes into the Major Arcana. It gives a page for each. Um, this book is, let me see here, 66 pages. Um, and then they do throw in two extra cards in this deck, which we'll show you uh, after the Major Arcana. So here is the little guidebook. Again, I might keep this out. This card stock is, it's a very thin deck. Okay. It's going to hold up good. It's, but it's thin. The card stock is um, the thinner side. Very, very easily bendable. Um, it's going to shuffle great. I don't know how well it's going to hold up, but it is beautiful. Uh, here is the back of the cards. beautiful backs. I love the colors. The backs are real, real pretty. Okay, so here we have um, The Fool, and it is Sweet Pea. The wording on these are very, very little. And with my eyesight and I need my glasses redone, it's hard for me to read it. Um, it's The Magician is next and it's The Fern Flowers. Then we have The High Priestess and this is The Pomegranate. Next, we have the Empress, and that's the Orchid. 
I'm not gonna say the scientific name, but it's the orchid. Oh, my eyesight is terrible, you guys. Then we have the emperor and it's the peony. These are beautiful. I love the antique look of these. I really love the colors. The Hierophant is the Daylily. One of my favorite flowers. I love little lilies. The Lovers is the Adonis and the Rose. The Chariot is the Bay Laurel. And these are not glossy. I mean, they have a sheen to them, but not, they're not high gloss by any means. Strength is the White Egyptian Lotus. Here is the her Hermit, and this is, I can't read that. Let me look it up in the book. <clears throat> Maybe I can read the book. Ear and Gym. Never heard of that flower here in GM. Maybe that's why I couldn't see it. Next, we have Wheel of Fortune, and that's the clover. Then we have Justice is Delanth Delanthius here. Yeah. Delanthius. <clears throat> the Hanged Man is the Angel's Trumpet. Death is the marigold. Not sure what this one is either. Let me look. Temperance. The protea. Protea. Devil is the common fig. The tower is wolfbane. Beautiful colors. Love the colors in that. The star is Aster. The moon is uh, Queen of the Night.
How fitting the sun is the sunflower. Judgment is the poppy. The world is Cosmo. Now here's her extra cards. And one of the extra cards is a destiny. And this is Milo. And then we have Paladin, and that is the Joquium, is how you say it, Joquium. And then the next one is the Hibiscus, would be your Ace of Pentacles. Calisthesia is your two of pentacles. That's a pretty flower. The three of pentacles is uh -uh, the beach. Morning glory. That's pretty. Then we have the four of pentacles is your columbine. Love columbine. I have quite a few out in my garden. Quite a few columbines. Then we have the five of pentacles is black cumin. Six of Pentacles is a marshmallow. Seven of Pentacles is a Sorbus. Very pretty. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles is your Dahlia. I love Dahlias. The Nine of Pentacles is the Deuter Rose. And the Ten of Pentacles is the Vine. Your page is Kubaka. Or Kobaka. Knight of Pentacles is a field bindweed. Your queen is the Impomoko. Mocha. Impomoka? I don't know. I've never heard of that. Impomoka. And your king is the blue morning glory.
Cups. The Ace of Cups is the Periwinkle. Two of Cups is also the Periwinkle. Okay. The Three of Cups is a different kind of Periwinkle. Four of Cups is the Oleander. The Five of Cups is the Dwarf Periwinkle. Six of Cups is the Star Jasmine. Then we have Belladonna. Now oh, let's see, the Eight of Cups. Doesn't say what it is on there. Magical flower, flowering, magical flowering. This is a periwinkle, would be your nine of cups. Ten of Cups is <clears throat> Alamanda. Alamanda. Your page is another periwinkle. King Knight of Cups is your Myrtle. Queen of Cups is a different form of periwinkle. And this is your blue periwinkle for your King of Cups. Okay, so now we're on to the swords. So we have the crown vet, that crown vetch for your ace swords. The cur purple crown vetch. So these are a lot of crown vetch, I believe. Russian knapweed is your three swords. The Corona Law is the five of swords. It's a good learning thing for the different flowers. My grandfather loved flowers, so he would love this. Scorpion Vetch would be your five of swords. Six of so swords is Sweet Clover.
Seven of Swords, Vicia, Velosa is your Seven of Swords. Here's another Vicafola. Is your Eight of Swords. I don't know about this one. A Cilium. This is a Cilium, a form of a Cilium. Would be your Nine of Swords. Cornelia Minima is your Ten of Swords. Page of Swords is Galiga. Knight of Swords, Securigeria, Allegans. Some of these might be scientific names too. The Milk Vect, Estragalus, would be your queen. Of swords. You guys must love how I have to spell some of these out. King of Swords is the Coronelia de Rey. So now we're on to the last suit, and that is our wands. <clears throat> the ace. Where's the ace here? Ace of wands is just the daffodil and willow. That's a beautiful flower. Um, this is the Amaranth. Amaranth. Beautiful. The Carusula Avacta. Or Avata. The crocus would be your four of wands. Five of wands is the petunia. Look at those colors. Matches my sweater. Then we have the six of wands as the iris. The seven of wands is a car duis. The Eight of Wands. Does it say that in the book here? Willow. The Willow. Some of them she forgot to put the meaning or the what the card is. Nine of Wands is the Anula. Beautiful.
Ten of Wands is the Willow. Page of Wands is the Daffodil and the Willow. The Knight of Wands is the Daffodil and the Willow. And again, we have the Queen is the Daffodil and the Willow. And same with the King's Daffodil and the Willow, King of Wands. So beautiful deck. I really uh, like this deck. Let's give it a shuffle. I'll read you one of the meanings in here because she's got quite a bit um, for the flowers, you know, in here. So let's give these some shuffles and I'll pull a card here. They're very, um, very thin to shuffle. And they're very, very bendable. You guys can see. Shuffle, I'll pull a card. But us. My angels, guides, and spirits, give us a card that we need to hear. Card we need to hear, please, and thank you. Okay, we have temperance. And temperance is the protea. So let's go to temperance. See if I can even read the word. The, the words in this book is very small, you guys. Also, so the temperance meaning uh, African rose pot of honey courage carries a symbol of positive change in the future. A graceful, flawless, pure, and noble flower, a symbol of South Africa, named after the Greek sea deity Proteus. Proteus, the son of Poseidon, had the ability to take the form of various animals and birds, could appear in the form of fire or water. Before honest people, he appeared in the form of water. Protea is a male flower. It is recommended to give it to self-confident people. The appearance of this beautiful flower can be very different depending on the species. These represent representative of exotic flora endowed with pink yellow, purple leaves resemble fancy bowls in which life-giving moisture is collected as if in vessels. The symbolic meaning of protea characterizes transformation and positive change, which implies courage and the ability to accept reality as it is without expectations. And then it tells you about the classic meaning of the card, the description of, of the created story. So pretty neat um, little guidebook. Um, gives you quite a, bit, quite a bit of stuff in here. So anyways, here's our temperance card. And there's Protea. So I hope you like this walkthrough. Um, it's a very pretty deck. Um, I really like it. Um, again, this is the Botantic Occulta Tarot. So there is the box. So I hope you like this. Um, if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. And uh, if you have not subs hit subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time.